What do you believe? And what do we believe as members of the church? Joseph Smith summarized some of the core beliefs we have as members of the church, though not all beliefs, in the Articles of Faith. Beautiful, powerful summary statements of key ideas. I'd like to read to you one of my favorite passages, Article of Faith 13. Now, as I read this, I want you to think about examples and non-examples of the principles that are encapsulated in this verse. I want you to think about when in your, in your life have you lived these principles? When have you struggled? When have you known people who have lived these principles or not? And I want you to think about what could we be doing to better live these principles in our lives and to encourage and uplift those who are trying to do the same and to discourage those who aren't doing these things. Here's what it says. Article of Faith number 13. We believe in being honest, true, chaste, benevolent, that means doing good, virtuous, and in doing good to all men. Indeed, we may say that we follow the admonition of Paul. We believe all things. We hope all things. We've endured many things and hope to be able to endure all things. If there's anything virtuous, lovely, or of good report or praiseworthy, we seek after these things. That last phrase I find very compelling. I often find myself asking, am I seeking after that which is praiseworthy and virtuous, or am I being led astray by the whims of the world and by whatever everybody else seems to be doing that might be popular but is not praiseworthy in the eyes of God, isn't virtuous, isn't really leading to good? And I have to check myself. I love that this is a great filter or rubric where I can ask myself on a regular basis, are the things that I'm watching, consuming, sharing, virtuous, lovely, of good report, and praiseworthy? Am I encouraging others to do the same? All of us can ask ourselves that question. And we can take a measure of our lives and say, is there something just today, one little thing I can do better today to be more virtuous, or to encourage more praiseworthy things, or to turn away from those things that are not praiseworthy, that are not good, or of not good report. As we do these things, we spread the light and goodness of the gospel. We let the window of God's love shine more fully in the world. People feel that love, and everyone is uplifted. That is the work of God. And may you be blessed in your efforts.